hi guys welcome back to my channel again if this is your first time of coming across this page thank you for stopping by my name is zion and i make videos about lifestyle and skincare kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notification so today guys i'll be talking about dealing with insecurities and boosting your self-confidence i all agree that as humans we all have insecurities. If you're dealing with insecurities, I'm here to tell you that it's totally normal to be insecure sometimes. It is normal to, you know, have something that you are shy about, something that gets you uncomfortable sometimes. So we have different types of insecurities. We have personal insecurities, we have professional, and we have um, relationships insecurities. Personal insecurity might be something that you aren't really comfortable about. Maybe your body, you don't like how your body looks like. It might be your skin color, it might be the shape of your lips, it might be your eyes. You know, something that you're not really, really confident about. I know you know what I'm talking about. So today I'll be talking about how to deal with these insecurities, how to combat them, how to live with them. Because your insecurities they are not something that can just go just like that they are not something that they are something that are reoccurring in your life they are not something that can just go like that they are stuff that you know were shaped from your beliefs from your background from your childhood from you know a lot of things so insecurities are a part of you but how do you deal with insecurities first of all i would like to say that as humans it is normal to avoid problems we all have issues but nobody feels comfortable about you know facing their problems you know talking about their problems we just don't want we want everything rose in our life the first way of dealing with insecurities is identify your insecurities what are your insecurities what are you insecure about what is that thing that, you know, makes you feel less confident about yourself? Because for you to solve a problem, you have to identify what that problem is. You have to know what the problem is. You can't solve what you don't know. For me, I used to be insecure about having full lips, you know, having big lips. And while growing up, my family would just joke around about it and, you know, talk about how my lips and how big they were. And I just felt like... I didn't have normal lips as a kid and I would just sometimes I would pull my lips inside just you know to make it look smaller and whatnot but now guys in this era where people are adding lip fillers I am confidently rocking my big lips because I love them the first step is to identify your insecurities what are they you know know what own health like know what your insecurities are if it's your body if it is being fat you have to know that hey i know that i am fat look in the mirror tell yourself yes i have identified this problem okay that is the first step towards dealing with your insecurities the second one is owning and facing your insecurities it is important for you to own your insecurities because if you keep treating them like they are not a part of you that is just totally unfair to yourself and bad because if you don't own your insecurities who else is going to own them so the second way of dealing with your insecurities is owning them knowing that okay they are a part of me tell yourself i know that i am insecure about this thing but it is fine. I love myself unconditionally. Who it? Because in this world where there are a lot of things, what you want to do is be yourself. Because you can't live your whole life trying to be someone else. Because the person you wish you were also wishes they were someone else. So why can't you just own it? Own it and face it. If you hate your body, look in the mirror. I draw every inch of you own it love yourself unconditionally because something i've realized guys is that if you don't love yourself other people won't love you self-love is important in your life you need to love yourself because if you if you hate yourself what are you telling others to do you are simply telling others to do the same thing directly or indirectly so own your insecurities 
face it don't just avoid it don't treat it like a problem don't treat it like a big issue that you have to like avoid your whole life because you can't keep living like that so the second way towards dealing with your insecurities is owning them accepting your flaws because as humans we are not perfect no, there's nothing like perfection so stop aiming at perfection all the time because at the point you are just going to wish that you've loved yourself the whole time you don't compare yourself to anyone because comparison is just a stealer of joy i i think i heard that quote somewhere somewhere but it's actually true if you keep comparing yourself with a lot of people you're just damaging yourself because sometimes we are our own worst enemy who should bring me to the third one be gentle and kind on yourself i know a lot of us do negative self-talk we insult ourselves we say terrible and harsh things to yourself let me paint you a scenario imagine yourself was a different entity and you just walk up to that entity every single day and you tell that entity that oh you're stupid oh you're ugly so ask yourself would it be nice to talk to someone else like that it's not it's the same thing with talking to ourselves the things we see to ourselves matter a lot guys and it shapes the way we look at ourselves it shapes the way others look at us so be nice be kind to yourself tell yourself i am beautiful i am courageous i am creative I am divine. I am gorgeous. Other things that you expect people to tell you, why don't you start by telling yourself? Another way to deal with your insecurities is to attack or challenge your insecurities. I mentioned attack because we always, you know, uncomfortable about doing things. But doing things the opposite way of how we feel really goes a long way on how we deal with our insecurities. For example, you're always insecure about talking in public. Why don't you start by talking in public? Just do it. For me, I used to be insecure about my dark skin as well. Like sometimes I used to wish I was lighter or light skinned and I just realized that I cannot bleach my skin and I cannot spend my whole life eating my skin. And then I became a model because being a model has allowed me to see the beauty in my own skin. The beauty I was always insecure about, the skin I was always insecure about. Being a model has really boosted my self-confidence. So doing the opposite of how you feel really goes a long way, guys. Another way to deal with insecurities is to see your insecurities as high openers instead of problems. See your insecurities as opportunities rather than obstacles. See them as an opportunity towards your growth. Because if you probably didn't feel insecure about something, you might not get to do a lot of great things. Many great people in the world, they have to like deal with something worse before they stepped out to greatness. Because I feel like a lot of great moments are born from pain. So why don't you see your pain, your struggles, your insecurities as a step towards a better tomorrow? Another one i will talk about is always be prepared for setbacks and relapse if you feel good about yourself and you feel down tomorrow don't beat yourself up about it it's not meant to be a straight line of growth growth happens bit by bit so don't kill yourself over being perfect you cannot be perfect it's not possible to be perfect guys so if you are you know feeling great about yourself and you wake up feeling somehow tomorrow don't kill yourself about it. Pick up yourself. Those things that you did yesterday that made you feel better about yourself, do it again. Do it over and over. Because it's not possible for you to eradicate your insecurities in a week. This thing is a journey. Sometimes you might still feel down. It is totally normal. You are human. You are not one perfect angel out there. Always tell yourself that you are trying your best and do not stop trying. Don't feel that because I feel down today, then that's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, my dear. The next one is stop overthinking. They often say this, that overthinking is a killer of joy. Guys, overthinking is like an endless cycle. Once you just enter that cycle, it might be hard to stop. So one thing you want to combat if you have insecurities is overthinking. Stop overthinking. Tell yourself that it is fine. Practice breath work. That is something that really works for me because I'm a great overthinker. I overthink every damn thing. 
But something that has always helped me is in the middle of that chaos, in the middle of the craziness, just stop and breathe and tell yourself everything is fine. I am where I'm meant to be and I love myself unconditionally. The last one I'll talk about, guys, is engage in self-care. Do that thing that you really love doing. Take yourself on spa dates, you know, food dates. It's that food you love. Make yourself feel good because, guys, this life is short. And if you are busy waiting for other people to make you happy, you're on the long thing. So you have to start by making yourself happy. Do things you love. Live carefree. After all, we are not getting out of this place alive. So try and breathe and live for once. Don't take life too serious, guys, because actually this life is not serious. You can be alive today and then, boom you're gone tomorrow if the dead could speak they would tell you they have a lot of regrets and what are their regrets they will wish they had done a lot of things that they wanted to do while they were alive things they were not doing because of what other people would say at the end of the day it is only your happiness that matters always prioritize your happiness over other people's happiness always take care of yourself put yourself first in every situation I'm not saying you should be selfish, but put yourself first and love yourself unconditionally. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you found this video very helpful, kindly click the like button and share it to your friends, your families, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.